Okay, so feeling lonely as a man or feeling the loneliness doesn't mean that you're a failure or you're failing. It probably means that you're neglecting yourself. Let me explain. Have you ever heard of something called the inner child? So the inner child is that little boy inside you that used to laugh and smile all the time and who was amused by the simplest things. But somewhere along the line, something happened to him. Maybe he saw his parents argue for the first time or he did something that he was really proud of and he put so much attention and time and someone just dismissed him with reckless disregard to, to his emotions. Or in my case, my mother passed away when I was 10 years old. So the thoughts I started to think was, why did she leave me? Am I not good enough? Or do I not deserve love? Obviously, that's not the case, but these things are never rational, are they? And if you don't confront those things, there's always going to be a program run by your subconscious at the back of your head at a very low volume so you can hear it. And it's going to dictate how you meet the world. The brain is very sneaky. So how do we as men start to get in touch with that little boy in there? One of the first things you can do for yourself is admitting, acknowledging that those feelings exist and avoid what professionals call numbing. This is sleeping with so many women just for ego stroke, getting drunk constantly, or just using other drugs. You have to feel those emotions, bro. Connect with them, acknowledge them. And sometimes when you feel them and sit with them for too long, you might start to cry and that's okay. You're human after all. Bro. Have a dialogue with your younger self. This is gonna happen through journaling or you can type on your phone, it's fine. I remember the first time I ever heard that dialogue was on a train and it was very strange because as I was writing, I kept looking around. Like I thought maybe if someone saw me, they would think I was so weird. But the more I did it, the more it felt good, the more it felt reassuring because I was making a pact with myself. What I was telling myself was, I'll always be there for myself and I will always, always make sure that I choose myself. Meditate. Meditation is not only good for centering yourself and being present, but you control your thoughts because if you can control your thoughts, it means you meet the world differently. When someone does something to you, you don't react immediately. You, you, you pause and you think about it. And you also, that voice inside you starts to become louder and you become more of yourself. Before I started meditating, I was saying, ah, oh, that's stuff for yoga people. Oh, that's gay. You know, just things that don't make any sense at all and sometimes those are some of the comments that us as men we kind of dismiss things as just feminine or just weird major thing is find yourself a professional because you're not going to figure it out yourself if you're going to figure it out yourself you would have already done it by now so find a professional right i hope you continue to heal yourself okay all right love you bye